Ladies and gentlemen, kids are funny, especially mine. Take, for example, my three-year-old, Cassie. We recently went to Disneyland. In Disneyland, way out in California, she got a bag of cotton candy and she was really excited about it. She had wanted that cotton candy. She spent about an hour munching away at it. But after that hour, she just held on to it really tightly, bringing on to all the rides. And then after four or five hours, we were getting ready to go. And my wife and I asked her, Cassie, are you going to eat that cotton candy? No. Well, do you want to throw it away? No. Okay, Cassie, what are you doing with the cotton candy? I'm saving it for Meme. Now, Meme's her grandmother, who's back on the East Coast. And she has diabetes. So we had to explain to her, honey, I don't think she's going to want a bag of cotton candy that she carried around all day. It's gotten all squished and let's cut a little drool on it. And bring it all the way back on the plane ride. And Mimi's diabetic, which means it would make her sick. So, no, we're going to have to throw that away. Good thought. You're such a sweet girl. Every year, my family and I go to an event called Firefly. And it's this multi-day festival with camping, and it's an arts festival. And the culmination of the event is that we built this giant 20-foot Firefly out of wood. And we fill it with wood, and we light it on fire. And we often call the event the bug burn. Well, this was Cassie's third year, and the first two years, she'd slept right through the bug burn. This year, as so we're walking over to find a good spot to sit, she asked, well, what are we doing? And I said, well, Cassie, we're going to watch the, the firefly get lit on fire. She said, what? My friend? She'd sat in the firefly she made friends with the firefly. Burn it? So I explained, oh no, honey, it's okay, it's okay. See, we built it, and now we're going to burn it. It's like how you build things with blocks, and, and then you burn them. Well, she didn't like this idea. We sat down, and she was crying. It was awful. Fire artists came out. They started dancing with fire around the bug. She was crying. They lit the firefly. She was crying. Eventually, after several hours, the firefly finally fell down. People were having the time of their life. This was their event. They were having an awesome time, dancing around the bug, some of them naked, happy as ever. Cassie, she's still crying. So after three hours of constant crying, I finally said, okay, honey, why don't we, why don't we say goodbye to the bug? Okay. So we walked around to the back. We said, Goodbye, bug. You were a nice bug. We'll build you again next year. Goodbye. And I finally got her to stop crying and then get in the tent and go to sleep. Now, at this same event, there's a camp called Shark Banana. Have you heard of Shark Banana? Perhaps you have. Women want him. Men want to be him. Yes, he's Shark Banana. At Firefly, 
there's this whole camp dedicated to shark banana. They have giant shark banana stuffed animals. They have signs about shark banana. And at the age of two, my daughter came up with this joke. Here's how it goes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Shark banana. Shark banana who? Shark banana eating you. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that was the age of two. Her brothers love Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars game. Star Wars movies, role-playing Star Wars. Star Wars is awesome. And I don't think Cassie has any idea what Star Wars is, but her brothers love it. So she wants to get involved. She wants to play with them. So they decided that she'd be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, my three-year-old daughter is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And when she's playing, if you call her Cassie, she'll say, no, Daddy. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. Call me Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm not Cassie. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Sooner or later, I wanted to play. So, I needed a character. And I thought, wow. I could be Luke Skywalker. No, Dad. Well, I could be you. No, Daddy. I could be Darth Vader. Luke. Ich bin dein Father. Nein! No, Dad. Well... I could be Chewbacca. No, Daddy. You're R2-D2. R2-D2? How am I supposed to be R2-D2? Okay, R2-D2. My wife, she wants to play along too. What role does Cassie give her? Princess Leia. She gets Princess Leia. I'd like to be Princess Leia instead of being R2-D2. But no. My wife is Princess Leia. And I'm R2-D2. I don't know what she sees in R2-D2. Our relationship's a little bit complicated. And so now you know all the wonderful ammunition I have for her when she's a teenager. <laughs>